Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Welcome to lesson seven, grade two. It's a sunny day. I'm feeling energetic. I hope you are too. Today we're going to do two short activities. The first one is related to the new note we learned last lesson, re, and the next one is related to listening and reacting. We're going to review re, and we're going to sing re and all the other notes that we know, and we're going to learn a new song that is really fun and a little bit silly. Next, we're going to work on reacting to sounds on the piano. I think you remember that activity. And I have a little surprise for you. I recorded this video a few weeks back and used it for another class, uh, but I think you will really enjoy it. So I think we can begin. Before we start singing, as usual, we're going to warm up our voices. I am sure that we have not seen the little man in a really long time, so let's bring him out. Hello. Please make sure that you're doing all the movements and all the sounds along with me so that you get your voices warmed up. Remember that the little man is a professional diver and he needs to go really, really, really high before he can dive into a tiny, tiny little pool. Here we go. Little man calls on the elevator. Bing! The door opens. He walks in. The door closes. He presses the button for the top floor. Bing! And the elevator goes up. comes out. He gets ready. Whoop. And then you're going to grab him and you're going to throw him as high as you can. Ready, set, throw. <laughs> Hopefully our voices are warmed up. Let's begin with our sofa patterns. So like we practiced in the last lesson, we now know five sofa notes. La, show me la. So, show me so. Mi, show me mi. De, our new note. And do. I'm gonna sing, and I hope you sing after me and with me. You're gonna recognize this song, it goes like this. I have a melody, listen to my melody. I have a melody, you can do it too. So, so, me. Mi, re, do. So, so, la, so. La, so, mi, re, do. I have a melody, listen to my melody. I have a melody, you can do it too. Do, do, re, mi, mi, re, so, re, do, re, do, re, do, re, do. I have a melody, listen to my melody. I have a melody, you can do it too. La, la, so, mi, so, mi, re, do. Do, re, do, mi, so, la, so, re. I have a melody, listen to my melody. I have a melody, you can do it too. So, la, so, mi, so, la, so, re. So, la, so, re. So, la, so, mi. Mi, so, mi, so. Soup! This new song we're going to learn is really fun and it's also quite funny because it has cumulative movement. You will see what that means in a second. So, if you're doing all the moves, it should be really, really, really fun. It also teaches us about re, the new note. So find a spot where you can stand comfortably and move your arms or move your body without hurting anyone and I will meet you there. Okay, hopefully you were able to find a spot where you can move freely and you are ready to sing. I'm going to start by showing you what the song sounds like using only hand signs. 
This is an echo song, so it only works really well if you repeat after me. We're going to take it at a slow tempo first. Ready? Here I go. Solo, so me. Solo, so ne. Solo, so ne. Solo, so me. That's it. It's short. And that's what only one verse sounds like. Now I'm going to add the words of each verse. Each verse is accompanied by movement. On the first verse, you'll need to tap your foot. Like that. I'm going to be doing my hand signs and so should you. Remember, this is an echo song. Let's see if you can tap your foot and do the hand signs and sing at the same time. Ready? Here I go. My aunt came back. verse you're going to have to fan yourself and do the hand signs at the same time. Maybe we'll be able to do it. Let's give it a try. Repeat after me. Here I go. My aunt came back from old Japan. She brought with her a paper fan. Whew, that was hard even for me. How did you do? Next verse, my aunt came back from old Algiers. This time you're gonna have to do this motion with your hands, like scissors, because she brings back a pair of shears. Ooh, this switches my hands, so let's see if I can do it. Let's give it a try, ready? Here I go. My aunt came back from old Algiers. She brought with her a pair of shears. Even harder than the last one. And finally, we have verse number four. For verse number four, my aunt comes back from Guadalupe. And she brings back a hula hoop. So you have to move your hips like this. So let's see if we can do hand signs and sing at the same time. Ready and go. My aunt came back. From Guadalupe, she brought with her a hula hoop. Whoa! Now, we have the ultimate challenge. I told you at the beginning of the video that this song is cumulative. That means that every verse we're going to add movement without stopping the movement from the previous verse. Good luck! No hand signs this time. We're going to start with our foot. Ready? Here we go. My aunt came back from Timbuktu. She brought with her a wooden shoe. My aunt came back from old Japan. She brought with her a paper fan. My aunt came back from old Algiers. She brought with her a pair of shears. My aunt came back from Guadalupe. She brought with her a hula hoop. I hope that was as fun for you as it was for me. Let's move on with the next part of the lesson. Here's your surprise. Now we're going to move. So we're going to do that activity where you react to what you hear on the piano. Remember, there are, there are three ways to move. You can move forward. You can move backwards, looking over your shoulder, making sure you are safe. Or you can spin in place. No tornadoes! Because that is dangerous. Remember that if you hear this sound, it means move forward. If you hear this sound, it means move backwards. this sound, 
one, it means spin in place. Always keeping the beat. Here we go. silly lesson and I hope that if you have time and you can you can send me a video of yourself responding to it you can do either uh, singing my aunt came back or the solfa patterns or you can do a video of yourself moving to the reaction activity I hope you have a fantastic week I will see you next Tuesday goodbye